Hello from Tenerife. This is definitely my favorite place in the world. Anywho, after a week-long stay on this wonderful island, my family and I are heading back to mainland Europe. Join me on Condor as we fly to Leipzig. Tenerife South is a pretty cool airport. Check-in and security are fast and efficient, and within just 20 minutes of walking into the terminal building, my family and I are airside and duty-free. For an airport built in the late 1970s, most of Tenerife South Airport feels modern and spacious, but I think that's partially due to the fact that the airport terminal was recently renovated. Pulling into gate B32 is a beach tower, I mean Condor A321, registered Delta Alpha India Alpha Foxtrot. This 9-year-old A321 will be taking us to Leipzig. Let's get on board to seat 36A. Condor, which up until 2000 was fully owned by Lufthansa, features a similar economy class to that of Lufthansa, but better for reasons that you'll see later in the video. Each economy class seat features a standard literature pocket, tray table, storage pocket, and coat hanger hook. As for legroom, it's a bit better than what Lufthansa offers on their AT20s. On Condor, if you want to put your items in the overhead bins, you have to pay extra to reserve overhead bin space ahead of time. The type of ticket that my family purchased was one that comes with this overhead bin space reservation, as well as free seats and a checked bag. With the fare turf that my family purchased, the equivalent of a standard economy plus ticket, we also receive pillows at our seats. My family and I were not supposed to fly out on September 3rd, but Condor, the quote-unquote leisure airline, allows you to change your flight tickets up to 24 hours before your flight. So my family made the decision to stay three extra days in Tenerife for only 250 euros total for three people. Quite a good deal. Here's our takeoff from runway 07 at Tenerife South. On some of its updated A321s and 757s, Condor features its own free-to-use in-flight entertainment system, which you can access through the onboard Wi-Fi by scanning this QR code. Condor features a small but decent selection of movies, TV shows, music, and more on its entertainment portal. However, the Wi-Fi used to access Condor's quote-unquote fly stream entertainment is spotty at best. Despite this, my family and I managed to watch a movie through the Wi-Fi for at least half of the flight. Despite offering entertainment on board, Condor, like pretty much every other European airline, does not include any USB ports or power outlets in its economy class seats, so it's best to bring your own power bank or laptop for longer flights. Despite offering a great IFE system, Condor is, after all, still a leisure airline, and so they only offer snacks and drinks for purchase if you don't purchase the airline's quote-unquote premium fares. My family decided to purchase this 500 centiliter bottle of iced tea and water for a total of 7 euros. Overall, the prices on Condor are not too bad. As we cruise over Spain, our flight has to make a few turns and detours around some pretty mean thunderstorms.
After watching a movie and TV show through the entertainment portal, we begin our descent and landing into runway 26 right at Leipzig. Going into this flight, I had no idea what to expect from an airline such as Condor. But after spending almost five hours on board one of their aircrafts, I have to say that I prefer flying Condor over other full-service European airlines such as Lufthansa or Austrian. The flight attendants were nice and respectful. The in-flight entertainment portal, while finicky at times, was overall a nice addition to a long flight. Adding on to this experience, the pillows my family and I received just for purchasing a little more expensive ticket fare, and I think Condor is one of my new favorite airlines, up there with United. While there were no power outlets or USB ports, most other European leisure, full service, and budget airlines don't include them on board either, so it's not really that big of a deal breaker in my book. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more content like this, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'm always open to suggestions on how to improve my videos. Have a good day, or night, wherever you are in the world. See ya.